Hey guys, Shock here from Shocky Tech, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about One UI 5.0 beta number four. So right over here, we have the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra that has the latest beta, and here we have the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra that has One UI 5.0 beta number three. That same beta number three was the first beta for the S21. Now, S21 has gotten its second beta, so essentially it is beta number four, and we do have some changes, some bad, some good, so let's dive in and see what is going on. So remember, if you have a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra with the latest update, you are able to experience One UI 5.0 beta number four. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna show you guys they do have a lot of bugs that were fixed. So if I go to my uh, software update, and if I go to the last update, which was just yesterday, you can see we have a whole list of bugs that were fixed from top to bottom. You can pause the video and you can read these bugs. And then if I scroll down, you can see for the S21 version, the size of the beta number four is 861 megabytes and the security patch we have the latest security patch for October, so that's good at least. Now, one of the biggest changes is when I pull these down and this down, do it twice, you're gonna see that the multi-user interface is gone. So when you click this, it allows you to add additional users for your phone. That was in the beta three. With the latest beta, that option is now gone. And I have heard from some people that that was intentional. They took that feature away. So you're not gonna be able to add users as of now. Now, another way people were able to access that menu on the beta number three, which I can do right here, is if I scroll down a little bit uh, and go into the accounts and backup, you're gonna see there's a users menu that allows you to create additional users. If I go back here, again, it is gonna be gone. So where's that at? A constant backup, users is gone. I don't think it's gonna come back, but it might. Now, one major bug that was fixed is this. If I pinch the screen and go to my wallpapers, okay? And if I went to browse my wallpapers, this one on number three was actually crashing. Watch it crash in a second. Okay, there you go, nice crash. This doesn't crash anymore, so I can actually go in and look at all the wallpapers one by one. While we're there, let me just show it to you. So that's the wallpaper number one right here. Okay, you can have it in either screen. That's what it's gonna be. And then let me go back out. That's wallpaper. Then I got this guy right here, the, the same one that you're seeing right here. So let's look at this one right here, tap. Okay, so that's another wallpaper you're gonna have. These are some really cool wallpapers, by the way. And then this one, my least favorite, you can see how that's gonna look like as well. Alrighty, and again, back here, when I was doing that on One UI Beta 3, boom, it was crashing, so I couldn't go and look at all the uh, colors. So let's look at the colors real quick. Look at that, crashed, no crash. So this one here, let's take a look at how it looks like. Very nice. This one here, very nice. And this one here, also very nice. At least there's some character to these wallpapers as opposed to the boring ones on the top. One more thing I'm gonna show you that has changed. Look at this, if I go here and go all the way down, I see this, but I don't see any previews. With the latest update, I now can see previews of my downloaded wallpapers as well, which is great. And I can swipe and even select it from here. So if I wanted this guy right here, click on it, and I can use it immediately uh, on my lock screen because this one happens to be a video wallpaper. Now the next problem we seem to have with beta number four is animations. So it looks like they kind of downgraded the animations again. On this one, they're a little bit smoother. So when I pull it up, take a look at how it just goes back into its application. Here, it jumps a little bit to this way and then goes back there. So let me show that to you one more time. So look at that, it just went like this. Here, it is a little bit smoother goes up that way and that's the way I like it. So hopefully that will get fixed. One more thing I'm gonna show you if I go to the settings with beta number four, it says over here modes and routines as opposed to just modes. So if I click this and this, 
it's the same thing, but this one, because it has modes and routines, modes and routines, they renamed that to modes and routines, and here it's just one word. So that's another difference you might end up seeing. Other than that, things look pretty similar, but that's basically everything that I've noticed that is new. Let me just check one more thing live with you guys right now. Let's go into battery and device care. Just want to see if there's anything new here. Nope, so this is all the same as well. So any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.